Oh wait, the giveaway is still on. See me still repping? Hi friends, my name is Tamira. This is my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, good night. From wherever you're watching and whatever time you're watching. So today I'll be making a butternut squash soup. You know it's fall. Soups are good. Soups are delicious. This is not a hard soup to make. It's going to be quick, easy, and delicious. You know I'm going to say that. It's just a few ingredients. So I have my butternut squash, some garlic. I'm going to use some celery, but I'm not going to use all of this. Just a little piece. Obviously onion. I'm going to use potato for thick the soup but I may not use all of this oh I'm gonna use a little bit of ginger and for my garnish I'm going to be toasting up some um, pumpkin seeds and I might do a little drizzle of coconut milk just for garnish it's gonna taste good you know I'm gonna say that it's gonna be pretty you know good for that and y'all know people eat with their eyes, so if it looks good, you're most likely to try it, and then you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. See me still representing? Always and forever. Oh yeah. And I have my name engraved on the side. Stay tuned, don't tune out. Keep watching. I'm not chopping my sage because it's the blended soup, so it's all going to be blended out. I'm using the softer parts of the rosemary, so I don't have to chop that either. Adding some ginger. My ginger is frozen. So when you're toasting pumpkin seeds, you want to pay attention. You don't want to leave it too long unattended because it will burn quick and easy because of the natural oils in it. So it's constant stirring and paying attention to it. So they all get toasted nicely. You can tell it's changing color. And it smells delicious. Residual heat from the pan will finish toasting it up So you see this blender yeah, it's not shiny outside anymore 
or the cup is no longer shiny that tells you I've been using this. It's not new, it's been used. You want to taste for salt and flavor. It's so good, oh my god. Yes. I want to grate a little bit of nutmeg inside to warm your soul. Then my toasted pumpkin seeds, a little bit of crunch, delicious, it looks good, it tastes good, it smells good, it's everything. Really good. Here's my butternut squash soup with toasted pumpkin seeds, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of ginger to warm your heart. You can taste the sage, the rosemary. There's a little bit of coconut drizzle on top for garnish. It's flavor, 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 party in your mouth. Yeah, giveaway salon, get me to a thousand subscribers and cheers. Mm. thank you for watching thank me for cooking thank you for not tuning out stay true to yourself be kind to everybody peace out for garnish I added some nutmeg so you can taste the ginger, the nutmeg to warm your soul. Mm -mm -mm. The sage, the rosemary, the flavor, the salt, the pepper, everything's a party in your mouth. You will enjoy this soup. It's, it's good, it's healthy, it's delicious. You could make it completely vegetarian and use veg stock instead of chicken stock or water. Uh, and it could also be completely vegan. So there's options here. I'm not gonna tell you that I dropped the nutmeg in this bowl of soup. You don't have to know that. Ah. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good.